I'm here with our exercise guru, Ben Eater. Hi, Sal. And we are looking at your Exploring Standard Deviation 1 exercise. And let me think about what's going on here. So it says, arrange the 13 orange sample points in the histogram below. So these are the orange points you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So the sample standard deviation is approximately 1.6. So just so I understand these, these are points that are being sampled from some distribution. Right. We get these points right over here. And then this your your module is automatically calculating the sample mean, right. which is kind of the, the central tendency of, of at least these points. It's estimating the mean of this population you're sampling yeah. from. And then also the sample standard deviation, right. which is really kind of a measure of how far, on average, a, a way to measure, on average, how far away they are from that cent, that that, sen that sample mean. Yeah, and what we're trying to do here is to kind of get a sense of what that actually means. So right. when we say this, the standard deviation is 1.9, what, what does that sort of feel like? Right. So It seems clear that the sample mean, it looks like, you know, it, it literally is the average of these numbers. Right, it is. And it is, it looks like it's, you know, if I move this out, then it moves to the right a little bit, but that's just one point. The mean moves to the right. The mean, I think, it's easier to have an intuition for the mean. Yeah, because a lot if, of people if more have a pretty good sense of the right here, then the mean moves to the right. If we have move stuff move to the left and the mean moves to the left. That makes sense. But the 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 standard deviation in this case we're measuring the sample standard deviation. Right. This is a w this is a measure of dispersion. Right. On, uh, oh, and I say on average in quotes because it's not yeah. exactly the on average that we typically. Well, and, and that's and that's kind of the point of this exercise yeah. is it's not kind of exactly you know on average. So what is it? <laughs> right. Right. But you see that the further so let's see if. The further the points are spread out, the wider this sample standard deviation is. Right. If I bring the points closer together, then the standard deviation gets smaller and smaller. If I bring them closer to the sample mean, right. as you see, they get, they get tighter and tighter. Right. So let's see. Let's do the actual exercise. So arrange the 13 orange sample points so that the sample standard deviation is approximately 1.6. So right now it's 2.1, so I want to squeeze things together. And there's no right answer here. I just have to get them in, in a way yeah, yeah. that I'm close to 1.6. So I want to move things closer to that, the, the sample mean. And so let's see, this one. So one point by itself, actually just moving this one point. Not so quite. That just one that one point didn't quite do the trick, but I could move more things in. Yeah. And I it really could be like I could just pick up another point and move it closer to the Lots of I, ways to do it. I'll have a bigger impact if I move something that's right now far away and move that closer in. That's right. Because right now that's kind of taking that, okay, does that looks right? Yep. 1.6, so let me check my answer. Correct. Now look at this, uh, excuse me, look at this show solution. Okay, let me look at the solution. The standard deviation is smaller if the points are closer to the mean, yep. yep. The standard deviation is larger if the points are more spread out. Try moving a point closer to and further away from the sample mean to see how the sample standard deviation. So that's is. telling us what we just did. Right. Let's but do one. But look at the next. Look at the next step. Oh, there's another step. And what this will do is actually show you different examples of how to get to 1.6. So if you click that, it'll show you maybe a different way. Oh, that's neat. And I'll click it again. Right. And so what you can see is there's lots of different ways to have yeah. a sample standard deviation of 1.6, and they may look different. But yeah. if you keep clicking that, you'll kind of see there are some things in common as far as how they're sort yes. of grouped close to the name. And one, one other thing I just want to clarify is, you know, you've drawn this this kind of this uh, bell curve with right. that, that area shaded in in the back. That is that is our estimate of what the real distribution might look like based on the information we have of the sample. Right. So if, 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 if our sample mean is accurate, if it really is estimating the true mean of this population, then that's what we're drawing in the middle. Uh, and then we're assuming it's a normal, this kind of bell curve shaped distribution. So that's what it would look like based on the information we have. Right. This is very cool.